Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a great new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started and see what this amazing update is all about. And real quick before we dive in, if you want to download this wallpaper that I showed you in the very beginning, this gorgeous video wallpaper, all you want to do is you want to click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, scroll down and it's going to be wallpaper number two. Click the link. It'll take you to the store, the Samsung wallpaper store, and boom, you can download this for free. Gorgeous wallpaper. Now let's talk about this update. This update actually fixes a problem that a lot of people have been complaining about for a long time. Samsung has finally pulled advertisements from its stock applications. So these applications include applications like Samsung Health. Uh, by the removal of these advertisements, the app looks so much more cleaner. Uh, previously on the top, you would see an advertising area which would also scroll and switch between ads you don't even care about. Now the health app looks like a gorgeous, clean health app. No matter which page you go, it's going to look fantastic. Okay, there we go. No, no more annoying banner on the top. Now the other application that the ads were removed from is an application I use all the time. It's the Samsung Pay application. So when I go in here, normally when I went over here, Boom, I would see a nasty ad on the top. Now what you see is it says Samsung Pay, which is clickable, and if you click it, it gives you all the relevant offers that you need in relation to finance. So that makes sense, but this here will never change. It's just gonna look like this. So it's not really an ad. It's a big Samsung Pay banner, but it is clickable if you want to access their uh, promotions that you might actually like. Okay, so let's go back. So that's been fixed, so nothing here. Nothing here, and of course, nothing in the money section. And finally, we have the Samsung Weather app. So if you click on this, a lot of people had lost the ads on this for the last couple of months, but some people were still seeing it. The ads were persisting. Now they're gone for good. Now you can access the weather application by tapping the widget, or as you know, if I tap, if I tap on settings, go to settings here, I can add a weather icon into my app screen. So this application is now it's so clean that it's worth it to have this icon in your apps. So when you click this, it brings up the weather app, no ads, super clean, super fast, super nice. Now, one more thing I'm gonna let you know that's very important. Some people are still reporting that they're seeing advertisements, for example, in the Samsung Health application, just as an example. So if you still see ads on top of the application, here's what you wanna do. You wanna go to your settings, okay? You wanna go into apps right here, and then look for the Samsung Health application or the application that's bothering you uh, with advertisements. And all you want to do is you want to go over to storage right here and clear data and clear the cache just like that. You may not have to clear the data. First do the cache and then do the data if it doesn't work. Then go back into the application to see if the ads are gone. Sometimes it needs to be cleared out before things take effect. Now, quick shout out to my man, Yash Agarwal from Twitter for letting me know about this fantastic update. Now, another area where you're not gonna see any more ads is if you pull down the notifications panel, you're not gonna see any weird advertisements over here. And while we're here, let's quickly look at the uh, calendar application. Shouldn't be anything in there. I mean, I've never seen advertisements in my calendar, so that's good. Uh, nothing in the calculator, all these stock applications. Okay, nothing in here. Let's look at reminders application. Tap on that. Nothing over here under reminders also. So that's great. I don't remember seeing an ad there, but I'm just checking to make sure. But that's basically all there is to it. All these annoying ads have been removed. The apps look much better. Now, one thing I suggest you do on top of all this is to go to your settings and then go under to privacy right here. Then go into customization service right here and make sure it is all disabled. Okay, just disable, disable, uh, mine is enabled because I was doing some tests on this phone, but make sure the customization service is also disabled to minimize ads from your smartphone. Okay, I'm not against ads, but when you pay all that money for your smartphone, it shouldn't have any built-in ads. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? 
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.